All right, so let's start with uh, looking into the new checkout and cart widget. Uh, what are the changes? They're mainly cosmetic and user usability. So let's add the checkout widget onto the page and let me show you the basics. So here, as you can see, there is slight changes in terms of UI. It's easier to get to the styling, for example. You can adjust the design of the whole thing and we added new things there, so I'll show you in a moment. But uh, here, let's pre-select a few products. As before, you can pre-select in the widget what kind of products will be sold so people can just purchase them right away. And of course, the option for Add to Cart. This has not changed. But when you want to have the option where people are selecting what product they'll be purchasing, there is a small change there. So let me just scroll down so you can see better. So let's uh, go into the settings and when you add this uh, setting you see that people can pick which option so this is very cool i mean this is an old one but it's very cool for you know having different packages like discounts if they get you know higher amount of products etc etc so this is really cool for that or installments as well i've seen that a lot but you were not able to select which uh, would be the starting element for example the starting product that you'll be selling so you can now click on reorder the selected products and you can adjust their position so this is the new change where you can adjust the position of the uh, items that you are selling into this uh, selected option the other thing is the bump offer so the bump offer there is a very small change but i think it's really cool because when you do a bump offer uh, it's basically they're all the same but you can add a batch that can be different um, you know, of course, the headline can be different and all these things, but now you can add a different color for your batch. So basically, they can look like different promotions, like different, uh, you know, entities on their own. So you can select any type of a color for each individual bump offer. So they look a bit more highlighted this way. So this is a cool new addition. And, of, and this is another cool thing that we added is the active by default. So when you add a bump offer, you can actually pre-select it so that they can actually have the bump offer already added into their, uh, you know, checkout. So if they wish, of course, they can uncheck it. So uh, it's not active. So this is a very cool if you want people to start with a bump offer pre-selected. And of course, you can add as many as you want bump offers to the whole thing. So these are the main changes when it comes here. But you can also notice the design has changed a bit as well. So we have added this, uh, you know, um, you know, lines be, be behind, below the, uh, below the uh, headlines. This kind of is similar to what we have done with this uh, booking widgets and other widgets that we're working on, like quizzes as well. So. Basically, this is a, a, this is a new change and you can see in the styling how you can easily uh, modify and do different things with the widget. So also you can see this overlapping. So we've changed kind of the design. So we have this uh, background that you can add on this uh, basically the content area where you actually fill in information and then the summary info. This is, like I said, very similar to what we've done with the booking and other widgets. Uh, so it's the same theme. Now, in the styling, what are the things that you can choose? The first thing is, of course, the one-step checkout or two-step checkouts. As before, there is basically no change there. But you can also have the show below the checkout details. This is the summary. So now you can have it on the side, less before, and at the bottom. But when you have it at the bottom, it's slightly different in design as well. So you can see it here that you have this new view. This is better for usability, but also it's better when you have add to cart because before you were not able to basically delete the products that you had in the cart when you're using the checkout, the custom checkout widget. But now you can. So this is very you know good for customer usability. Again, let's go into the settings. So you can do other other different modifications of the whole the whole thing. And let's go into one by one. So basically the customer and billing details, this is the new area settings that we've added, where you can add some kind of a background there uh, that you were not uh, was not able to do before. Uh, you can add like custom fonts, uh, let's say this one mm, as, a, as a font as well. So you can have a lot uh, basically more customization of that but you can also modify what are the titles of your uh, you know headlines of your different sections here before by default they come pre-translated whatever the language is but here you can set whatever you want to be your 
headlines. Uh, they also have now the order summary, which you actually had before, but now you have the padding, so you can easily modify here as well this. But you can also hide the images too. So if your products are not with images, they don't require images, you can just remove that option if you don't want to show just placeholders. Like in this case, we do have images, but if you have like placeholders, it wouldn't be a very good design. So now you have this option. And uh, yeah, let's just change the styling of the font as well. Um, and that's about it. That's the main change about the order summary itself. Is basically the the overlapping and a few more stylization options now of course you have the ability to uh, when you're in this view to show the summary above the customer's information so this is very cool for mobile devices so this is for mobile so by default in this view if you don't have this checked you have the customer information and the button for checkout um, will be uh, you know the first thing that people would see and this option for selecting a product for example would be below which is and it's not good because people would not be able to select the product as part of the process basically they will be but it will be a bit um, strange so that's why we've added this setting so that you can have the ability for people uh, to first see the options and then the customer information on mobile because you know there the flow is uh, basically it has to have a flow so this is why we have this and of course here you have the option for the, the highlighted so uh, let me just show you yeah, how it how it actually looks so if we save and if we preview on mobile devices you will see now our booking and now we have our options first so now you can see the options from which they can choose then of course you have the information here and submit the order so that's that's it otherwise it would be the other way around where you have um, the, is, well, actually, le let me show you. So if you have it in this view, you see that first you have the information and then you have the options, which is not a good design. So make sure on mobile to have uh, this enabled when you have this type of a design. And uh, these are the main changes, I think, for, for this widget, basically cosmetic and user uh, is there interaction type of, of modifications, but I think the experience is, is much improved in, in, in different ways. So what are the other things that we've added is uh, actually the uh, cart. So you can access it from the system pages and you'll see it here, the cart. So the cart, it comes with this new default design. Here we have uh, three pre-selected products. Uh, and this is the new, uh, personally I, I enjoy this one a, a lot better than the previous one, it's just a bit different than, uh, than usual. Uh, of course you can go back to something like the old one, just by selecting style 1 and you have the more standard view of your cart. But yeah, I personally enjoy the style 2 better. Um, and of course you can just go and see your cart itself, it's, it's very straightforward itself, you still have the promo, you can still go continue to the shopping cart. Or proceed to checkout and just by clicking you can go again to do your checkout and continue with your uh, with your process so everything is pretty much the same uh, yes and another one, another thing that has been changed is the ability to modify your products you can just use this now plus and minus type of uh, quantity adjustment where before it was just a field uh, with small arrows I think this is a lot better for usability when you're trying to adjust your products and lastly is the cart there is a few slight modifications of how the cart looks uh, for the most part it is the same but it has slight uh, ui changes too nothing uh, user uh, you know modifications it's basically the arrangement of the uh, of the pricing and the products and the the rounded corners i think is a lot better as in terms of of design and this is basically it this is the new uh, the new checkout the new cart designs uh, of course the store the new store is coming very soon with brand new uh, whole sections and functionalities uh, in a few weeks should be available so stay tuned for that it will be a huge huge update there but this is the new checkout the new changes that you can do it's pretty cool 
it's a lot customized a lot more customizable than before i think you'll really enjoy these new things so let me know in the comments below what do you think of the new customizations and is it user friendly uh more user friendly than before and uh yeah do you think that will improve your your checkouts so yeah like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think so talk to you in the next video